Oxybenzone is a UV absorbing agent used in many sunscreens. So when tourists use such sunscreens, oxybenzone tends to slip off into the ocean, eventually making its way to numerous marine habitats and sea life, including coral. Even when you shower or urinate, oxybenzone can enter sewers and, depending on the distance locally, eventually finds the ocean. This deadly chemical causes mortality to maturing coral, increases coral bleaching and genetic damage to coral and other marine life through decrease in pH or oxybenzone absorption through the tissue. However, corals aren't the only things affected by oxybenzone. Oxybenzone can reproductively alter fish, impair the way green algae grows and lives, damages immune and reproductive systems of sea urchins, and much more. These effects should alarm us, considering we, humans, use them every day. There have been numerous animal and cell studies to confirm the concern that chemical blockers such as oxybenzone disrupt hormone production. For example, one study on mice after prolonged oxybenzone exposure reported lower sperm count and sperm abnormalities for males. As for the female mice, altered estrocycling, which are the recurring physiological changes induced by the reproductive hormones in most female animals, which was observed during the experiment. Published studies such as these suggest oxybenzone and other chemical filters interact with human thyroid hormones. An example would be that investigators at UC Berkeley reported a dramatic decline in teen girls' exposure to oxybenzone in cosmetics after they switched from their usual products to replacements that did not contain oxybenzone. This suggests that oxybenzone does indeed seep into the body, but there is still not enough information or human-focused research to determine the potential risks to humans from hormone disruption. Even though oxybenzone is such a problem, it's still found in so many sunscreens. Let's go take a look. We're at Target now, and I'm going to show you how prevalent oxybenzone is in sunscreens. And it's estimated that 14,000 tons of sunscreen enters the sea annually, and most of these chemicals include oxybenzone. To my surprise, there are actually numerous alternative sunscreens that doesn't contain oxybenzone and or use mainly zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. These are definitely the safer alternatives. There are two major types of sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens chemically react with the oncoming UV rays of the sun and dissipates them. These include sunscreen formulas that consist of oxybenzone, octinosate, homosalate, avobenzone, and more. Mineral sunscreens physically block rays from ever entering the skin. These include primarily zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. While chemical sunscreens are not as pricey and are clear when applied, they are often not as effective as mineral sunscreens and harms and kills corals. Mineral sunscreens on the other hand are often much more effective and doesn't affect corals overall. Some people don't like the often higher price of this superior protection along with the very white, hard to rub off nature of the sunscreen. To compare these substances, we decided to run some experiments comparing oxybenzone with a commonly used mineral sunscreen agent, zinc oxide. Oh, hello there! I didn't see you there! <laughs> well, but today, we are going to be showing the effects of oxybenzone compared to zinc oxide in a series of three experiments. Oxybenzone is very toxic to living things that are in the water, like coral, and that are not in the water, like humans. That is why we are sinking 
like you. This is ocean water. Cause I need to touch this. Oh, you didn't really out here letting us. Oh, I need to really out here letting us. Oxybenzone? Yeah, this is oxybenzone. Okay, so I'm gonna put a cap on it and then we're gonna mix it a bit. People have begun to see the need for regulation of sunscreen ingredients. Lao consists of over 500 islands in Micronesia in the Western Pacific Ocean. And in October 2018, banned oxybenzone, oxybenzone, and over 10 other chemicals in order to protect its precious environment. Oxybenzone is a highly prevalent substance used in chemical formulas for sunscreens. It causes significant damage to marine life, especially coral, and likely to humans too. Our experiments show that oxybenzone lowers the already unstable pH of the ocean, contributing to ocean acidification and its problems. It also suggested to us that zinc oxide, our chosen representative for mineral sunscreens, is actually more effective in protecting us from UV rays than oxybenzone. This is supported by the EWG, or the Environmental Working Group, which says mineral sunscreens can be definitely more effective than chemical sunscreen formulas, but depends on the specific formula whether which one's more effective than the other. Lastly, our experimenting suggested to us that marine life absorbed oxybenzone much more qualitatively than zinc oxide, based on the presence of crystals on the distilled algae. This statement is supported by Reefs at Risk's research, which found that increasing concentrations of oxybenzone cause mortality to coral, while titanium dioxide didn't affect the coral. To further rid oxybenzone from sunscreens, sign the petition, get harmful chemicals out of sunscreen, in the link below. In wait, wait, okay, cover that. We need to be prepared. <coughs> for first. <laughs> Cause like look all the juices are in here, but how are we gonna get that out? <laughs> it's um reflecting UV and stuff. Wow. The sunlight's coming in. <laughs> <laughs> They'll check on them tomorrow to see. Um, is it on? Yeah. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna add pH indicator and three drops. One, two, three. Safety lock. <laughs>